doesn't love a day at the zoo? Walking around, you can gaze upon some of the more amazing animals from around the world. From some of the largest to the downright deadly. Zoos offer the average Joe and his family a glimpse into the wonders of the natural world. The zoo can trace its origins back to a more family unfriendly time, to ancient Egypt, when for the pharaoh, owning a hippo too was completely normal. It was only into the 19th century when the roaring industrial masses wanted a piece of the action and science was taking off that the modern zoo was born. And sure, zoos have received bad press in the past, but the modern zoo has been reinvented as a centre of science and conservation. So what are the roles of a modern zoo? Well, roughly speaking, we can divide them into three categories. Education, breeding centres and research. So let's start with education. It's simple really. Zoos are a fun and safe place to learn for both kids and adults. The fact is, the animals are real and you can get up and close to some of the more exotic and threatened creatures from around the world. Every year, 150 million people visit zoos around the world and it's so important that the next generation is educated and understands the role they play in preserving our planet. Better still, many zoos have education centres with dedicated teams who aim to teach kids about everything from ecosystem services to climate change. Zoos also play an important role as breeding centres. Most zoos these days are part of organisations set up to coordinate breeding programmes and keep standards high. This means your favourite animal like the chimpanzee here is probably part of some national or even international breeding programme. These help zoos maintain genetic diversity and are extremely important for species that are threatened with extinction in the wild. One example is the scimitar horned oryx. This is a species that became extinct in the wild and only survived in zoos and private collections. It is now part of several international breeding programs and the hope is one day it will be reintroduced into the wild. And finally, research. Zoos offer a unique opportunity for biologists. Instead of spending days trying to track down an animal and becoming exhausted in the process, zoos offer a more controlled environment where effective research can be undertaken. Take the devastating disease Chytridiomycosis. This has caused dramatic declines and even extinction in at least 200 species of frog. Zoos are actively taking part in research, aiming to stop the spread of this disease. Research in zoos contribute to a number of scientific fields including animal behaviour and endocrinology, all ultimately contributing to the conservation of our biodiversity. So sure, a trip to the zoo is a great family day out, but zoos these days aren't there to show off your new hippo. Zoos are centres for conservation, educating the new generation, giving critically endangered species another chance, and helping us gather knowledge for the conservation of species and biodiversity. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Phil. And we're conservation biologists and the presenters of a new show called EcoSapien which explores the importance of the natural world and biodiversity. If you like this episode, or any other, why not hit the subscribe button? We need all the help and support we can get to continue producing the huge array of videos we hope to make. Thanks for watching.